Hey, welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to go ahead and whip up a system for you guys in the six and seven hundred dollar range. That would be great for gaming. So that taken in mind, I went ahead and I just hopped onto Newegg because that's basically like the easiest place I think online where you can just build something. There are tons of other places out there. I'm not saying you have to buy your parts there just to let you know. Now this particular system that I've designed today is basically an AMD design system. It's geared totally for the gamer and it's geared to be totally upgradable as well. So that said, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that I'm going to go on here is the Gigabyte GA990XA UD3 motherboard. Now, this is a great motherboard from these guys. It's also upgradable to Bulldozer. This is where we said we got into the upgradable part. This motherboard is upgradable to Bulldozer. For all those AMD fans who like that, you can jump into that board. By the way, all of these parts that I'll be going over will be in the description of the video as well. The next part, I have the Phenom 2 the 3.2 gigahertz dual core black edition Kalisto. This is an AM3 processor. It's a dual core processor, perfect for gaming. Next up is the memory. I chose Kingston because they're very stable. This is an eight gigabyte kit. It comes to market at about 60 something bucks. Like I said before, it's in the description. The next part, now this is where you can go two different ways. Some people like AMD systems, but they prefer to use NVIDIA video cards. So for the, this particular system, I used a $100 XFX HD 6770 for the AMD fans. And if you want an NVIDIA card, it's only about 10 or $15 more. You can get a TI 550 from NVIDIA. That'll do the same job of 22 inch monitors and work just perfectly for you. Jumping down. For the case, I use the Thermaltake V3 Black. You can find this between $38 and $43. It's a perfect case. It's got not a lot of great features, but it's still good enough for somebody who's just trying to get in and build themselves a gaming system. I'm going to jump down. Then I have also a $99 Thermaltake 750 watt bronze modular PSU. So it's bronze. It's a modular power supply. It's 750 watts, so it's upgradable to both SLI and Crossfire as well for both systems. Once again, upgradable. Then I have the Western Digital Caviar one terabyte hard drive great hard drive. Everybody uses this. It's pretty much the most common hard drive you're going to see gamers or anybody using out there. Then I have an Asus 24X DVD-R. It's about 24 bucks. Now, all of these parts that I've discussed come to $630 plus tax. There are a couple options that I want to mention though as well. If you want to go with a $700 system, you can go two different ways if you have a $700 budget. You can either upgrade your video card to a higher video card, or you can put a 64 gigabyte SSD as your boot drive, increasing both all your boot times and maintain the accuracy of your system, or more or less the integrity of your system. So this system, like I said, AMD based, $630 with tax, you've got a couple of options. You can either upgrade the video card and shoot it up, or you can put it in an SSD and have it on a $700 system. Great for gaming, totally upgradable. So thank you guys for watching. Before you guys leave comments about why didn't I use an Intel CPU, remember it. This is the six to $700 AMD based gaming system. I will have a completely other system based on the Intel platform in another video. That said, see you guys back here on motherboards.org.